The Internal Revenue Code has over 40,000 pages of mind-numbing tax laws that even the sharpest of accountants find difficult to follow in order to maximize business deductions while avoiding scrutiny by the IRS. As a result, most business owners go about their business as usual. They just send their financial information to their accountants who fill out their tax paperwork. Does this sound familiar? When was the last time you developed strategies to reduce your taxes? Stay tuned to learn about 10 mistakes that most small business owners make that cost them at least $10,000 in taxes every year. Welcome to this episode of Plan Your Wealth with Purpose, Principles for Investing in Wealth Creation with Wealth Creation's Education and Tax Coach, Jim Fisher. James Fisher is a registered advisor offering investment advice through Signature Investments, Inc., an SEC-registered investment advisor. Dayton, Ohio, James Fisher CPA and Wealth Creations is unaffiliated with Signature Investments, Inc. Okay, so you want to know what mistake business owners are making, let's jump right in. Mistake number one is failing to develop a plan. Have you ever heard the saying, the best offense is a good defense? The same goes with your money. You have a business plan, a marketing plan, a financial plan, but do you have a tax plan? No matter how good your tax preparer is, if you aren't aware of how to write off your kids braces as a business expense, or how to avoid paying taxes on that extra hundred grand you make, then you've paid the IRS thousands more than you need to. Mistake number two, paying too much self-employment tax. If you have a business, shouldn't you be entitled to have your return on your investment? Then why are you so many people paying double taxes on their profits like an employee? Number three, setting up the wrong business entity. Unfortunately, When it comes to picking a business entity, many business owners casually do what everybody else is doing instead of what's best for them. Number four, not setting up a health reimbursement account or proper health plan to maximize your write-offs. Number five, not employing your children. You can shelter over $6,000 per child potentially tax-free and then use it to fund a Roth IRA for college savings. I always say, let Uncle Sam pay for your kid's education. Mistake number six, not having the proper retirement plan or having a poorly designed retirement plan. Number seven, not deducting home office expenses. Along with that, I'll throw in not renting your home 14 days tax-free when used for business or employee meetings. Number eight, not deducting your kid's college tuition costs. And number five, I told you how to get Uncle Sam to pay for it. Now we're going to get a write-off as a business expense. Mistake number nine, not managing their debt cost. Small business owners are notorious for borrowing money from all kinds of sources, including credit cards, home equity, family members, etc. If this isn't properly accounted for, you're just giving the IRS a big tip and putting yourself at risk. And mistake number 10, not hiring a certified tax coach. If you listen to my prior episode, What's Your Business Tax Strategy? I uncovered the dirty little secret about CPAs. Go find that episode for more information. So I encourage you to get a second opinion from a CPA certified tax coach and develop a tax plan to stop making any of the 10 biggest mistakes costing you thousands. To get the expanded version of my free report, 10 Mistakes, visit my tax coach website, taxfreetaxcoach.com. Thank you for watching this episode of Plan Your Wealth with Purpose with Jim Fisher. For more information, visit wealth-creations.com. Also browse the other shows found right here at Toledo Biz TV Shows.